Hi friends, the Flinch Squad has some brand new merch out at the moment. Go over to our new Teespring store, the link down in the description. There is a promo code of 10% of all orders up until Friday the 27th of midnight. So grab your merch and rep the squad at events now. Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are going to finish up today with this dual primal team. Uh, we'll be moving on to a new team next week on the channel, uh, but we have been playing the dual primal combination for the last two weeks and we'll be finishing up with it in today's episode, like I say. The team as always is down in the description below. There's a raw paste and a poker paste and uh, you can check out the details, try out the team if you like and uh, if you do try it out, let me know what your thoughts are and how you've been getting on with it, but uh, dual primals is definitely something I think I've convinced myself after two weeks of playing it that it should be an archetype explored a lot more by people in the Ultra series. It's got a lot of potential going forward and I've really enjoyed it. So I hope you have as well. Obviously, let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are on dual primals. In general, it's not a core that we see too commonly used within the format, so it's an interesting one to say the least. Just to recap the team there, we got Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, Mega Salamence, Tapu Koko, it's got the Z move there. We got Bronzong with the Cassie Berry to help us against those big Moongeist beams and such from Ghost types that it could be taken down by and then we got the Sableye as well gonna be have that prankster fake out ability and the focus sash there so without further ado let's get into today's episodes if you do enjoy the content now please make sure to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and uh, leave your comments down below because I love hearing love hearing from you guys and uh, I am repping as you can see from the promo at the, the, the start of the video, one of our new Flinch Squad shirts here on the uh, the channel. Um, and just to remind you guys, there is a promo code running at the minute. Flinch Squad gives you 10% off any orders made and that will be expiring midnight tonight. So uh, Friday, whatever the date is on Friday, let's just check. What is the date? Friday, 27th. So 27th of September, midnight, it'll expire. So if you want any shirts, any hoodies, there's some super nice hoodies over there that we've designed um, to rep, take out to events, or just in general, um, go over and grab them, 10% off at the moment. So we'll get into our first one today. It is gonna be against a Japanese player. And then running a team of Groudon, Orangaroo, Landorus, Therian, Tepu Fini, Tapu Lele, and Duskman and Cosmo. A nice looking team. You've got Trick Room elements from the Duskman, potentially, definitely on the Orangaroo Instruct there as well. So we need to be a little careful around that. The uh, Intimidate support from the Landorus, and then you've got the two Tapus uh, for support. More offensive variant of the two going to be the Lele, which is maybe Scarfed, and then the Finny, which is going to be the more bulkier one, to try and slot our game down. Um, okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, huh, Bronzong is pretty decent here. It's not really threatened by it a great deal, especially if we've got Kyogre support against the Groudon. Um, yeah. I t again, I'm so tempted just to go Bronzong, Sableye, Kyogre, and Groudon. And I'm kind of, I just, yeah, I'm gonna just lock into that, you know. The only problem is the Orangaroo with Instruct with that Groudon, it could be a bit of a pain to deal with um, where Salamence could be a, maybe the better option here, but let's go with these and see how we get on. Salamence definitely could be a good option here, I feel, but we haven't brought it, so we can't, we can't complain about it, we just got to make do with what we've got for right now, uh, and we'll see how we get on in this first one. Okay. But getting on to the t-shirts though, I'm actually really surprised, like the quality is super nice, the fit is perfect, I like wear small, um, I could probably wear a larger one if you like that larger look, uh, but I like things to look fitted, so uh, the small is what I'm wearing, um, but the sizing is pretty nice with all the stuff, so um, yeah, if you do get any though, make sure to tweet me at OsirisVGC and I will make sure to retweet that uh, to Finch Squad World so I can uh, can see you repping your t-shirt. It's uh, it'll be amazing and we'll pop you up on the Instagram as well. Um, okay, we're going to see Tap and Finny and Groudon come out for my opponent. Uh, hmm, did we just set up a trick room? I don't, I, like the Groudon probably wants us to set up a trick room, that's the thing. Um... The Tapu Fini is a bit of a problem. 
for us, if I'm like completely honest. I kind of want to get Kyogre onto the field. Now, I'm going to bring Kyogre in for Bronzong, and I'm going to fake out the Tapu Fini. Because I don't think we see a Precipice Blades. I really don't. I think we see uh, a Fire Punch, if anything. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's my gut. That's what my gut's telling me. I feel like we see Fire Punch from the Groudon, if anything. Groudon actually going to withdraw. Okay. Well, that's that's still fine. The cross one going to come in. The Finny, to me, though, is definitely always going to be the one Pokemon that sits on the field and throws out Nature's Madness or something along those lines. So, um... Which is definitely going to do again the next turn. 100%. We'll probably see the Groudon come back onto the field, I'd imagine. Okay. Do we just bring Bronzong back out and go for a foul play into Duskmane? I think that's the best. I need to protect the Primal. The, like, our Primals in this match are going to be. It sounds really obvious, but. They're going to be massively important for us winning this game. Um, Groudon for helping deal with that Tapu Fini. And obviously the Kyogre to help deal with the Groudon. So I don't really want to leave Kyogre in here. I don't want to protect I don't want to protect on it right now because the Groudon could easily come in. Then it means we, we are forced to switch out. That makes it easier for my opponent to predict around. Um, and I don't want to leave it in not protecting, risking a potential... Uh, water spout or something just to take an just madness from the Tapu Fini here. Um, wow, we're seeing a Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball? Did you predict this Bronzong to come back in? Or were you Shadow Balling the Kyogre? Shadow Ball Tapu Fini. Man, okay. Uh, I think we'll just try and get some damage onto the Fini now. We'll just Gyro Ball it. I don't feel like Trick Room is going to be our best option to go down and go for another foul play into the necrozma um yeah if it switches out then ground on takes a bunch of damage if it doesn't then yeah we get 50 percent damage onto it another shadow ball coming out into bronze on here which is fine so we'll take that Ooh, special defense drop not so hot and z move shattered psyche it is gonna be shattered psyche is it gonna be z uh for z trick room that'd be amazing but I, I, I don't think it is. It's going to be the uh, Photon Guys as Shattered Psyche. It's going to be into uh, Bronzong here, I think. Yeah, taking no Bronzong down. Wasting the Z move at the same time, which I really don't mind at all. Um, because it gives us a perfect opportunity to get. Um, it kind of makes me feel like my opponent doesn't want us to uh, set the Trick Room up there. But they definitely have Trick Room. They definitely have Trick Room. Um... It's a shame we don't get any damage onto the Finny there, but that's it's quite all right. We we'll get our ground on, onto the field. Um, I think I might do a quash, quash, quash. I could quash the uh, the Duskman and just press his blades. Hmm. Or I could sword stance and foul play. Or I could just protect ground on foul play kind of tempted to do a lot of things here um, but I think I'll go for the Precipice Blades and I'll go for the Quash into the Necrozma because I think it has got Earth Power I imagine it has Earth Power Lander is coming in which is fine it's all going to be about a little Sableye now how much work it can put in and Necrozma just protects ok that's, that's not the worst we know that the Landorus hasn't got the Z move, so that's all right. It can't really freely use Earthquake, so it might have Earth Power. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll switch into Kyogre now. No, I don't really want to do that because I don't want to bring Kyogre in when Groudon's lurking in the back. I'll protect Groudon. Um, don't want to get rid of Necrozma. Do I want to get some damage onto? I mean, I could quash the Landorus. I just don't want to take an Earth Power. That's the only thing. I'm going to go for a foul play into the Necrozma. 
Hopefully we don't see like a double up into Sableye here. Wow, it's actually just thrown out an earthquake. It's gonna take down Duskman, I think. Yeah. Mad. You mad man, we get a foul play into this Landorus though, which is always gonna be a bonus. Brucey. Yeah, do some nice damage there. Hmm. What do we see come in? Are we gonna see the the Groudon come in? Yeah. Now I'm kind of tempted to quash and fire punch the Landorus. Because I think the Groudon protects here, and I think we do see another earthquake. And uh, fire punch should take the Landorus down from this range. Dang, that's the only drawback is that thing switching out into Tapu Fini. Mm. And now we're going to take hideous damage on our Groudon. Okay, Earth Power. As long as we've got Sableye kicking around. And we do take it, so that's not the worst. And it is special Groudon that makes things much easier to deal with. Much easier. Much easier to deal with. Um, okay. Groudon's going to switch out for Landorus now, for sure. Do I just get some damage onto this Tapu Fini? No. I think what we'll do is switch into Kyogre with Groudon. And I will go for... Hmm... And go for a foul play into the, the Groudon. Because I think Landorus comes in on that slot. Because you've got to be worried about the Quash. Right now, I think. Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think the worst thing will be Nature's Madness from the Finny, though. Oh, wow, we actually outspeed the Groudon. That is slow Groudon. Does some Gleam. Gonna take down Sableye. Oh, this is the worst for us, actually. I just got pea blades. Okay, so it's like a mixed crowd on. Single target. Uh, I think this one's over for us. I think it's over. Although, Kyogre will have to be crowd on. We're just not going to be able to nab it at all with um, some weird speed tearing going on here, especially when my opponent's not brought their speed control. Hmm. Um. Okay, well, I mean, we can try an Ice Beam the ground on, and we can go for a Precipice Blades, but I think we probably just lose now to whatever Finny's got to throw out at us. Uh, unless our Groudon outspeeds their Groudon. That's all do we take. Nah, nah, we don't even take it from the Finny. Oh, well, good game to my opponent. Um... Just trying to think now where we could have went a little bit different there um i think we needed something for finny finny's definitely a, a massive issue for us to deal with um and maybe bringing tapu coco there would have been a better option and salamence as well i think would have been a better option to deal with the opposing ground on especially the opposing landorus as well and then maybe just chucked out primals in the back especially again in that match when you're looking at it And my opponent didn't really have any speed control uh, from the Pokemon that they brought, so it would have made more sense for us then to have that, that Tailwind combination to go with. We've got Andre VGC as our next opponent. Hopefully it's going to be the one where we can give this team a good send-off from our last one of the episode, so we'll hop into Team Preview. Okay, so Andre is playing a team of Volcarona, Xerneas, Yvelto, Incineroar, Metagross and Tapu Fini. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got Volcaron is going to be definitely a support Pokemon. Probably looking at Rage Powder Tailwind. Uh, might have Red Card for opposing Xerneas, seeing how hard Xerneas can be for this team to deal with. Um, Mega Metagross is going to be the Mega on the team. I definitely want to bring Coco to this game. I think Coco definitely helps alleviate any Veltal. 
uh, issues you've got to a certain extent. Um, otherwise, Eveltal just hard walls dual primals most of the time. So Coco is definitely something I want to bring here. Um, do I want to bring Bronzong? Because Bronzong can be actually really good if we can get rid of the the, the double the double darks. Although Sableye could be just as useful. Um, we could bring Groudon and Kyogre in the back. I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. But Coco is coming to this one. Okay, we haven't brought Coco too much this week. And I think in a few of our losses this week, and we've not had many, but I think that the matches that we have lost, I think there's definitely warrant for Coco and Mentz in those matches where we need to mix things up a little bit. Maybe take a step back and not fall as quickly on the fall that we've been bringing every single time, out to most games anyway. So we are going to see Xerneas and Incineroar come out for my opponent. I mean, here we've got a pretty safe switch where we can just fake out the Xerneas and switch Groudon in, haven't we, for for Coco. Um, and then we're unintimidated. We've got to quash the next turn if you want to go for that. I think we'll do that. We'll get Groudon in, into the mix. And we've still got Taunt as well from, from Sableye. They can shut down that Xerneas if we want to, uh, we want to prevent a Geomancy. But it's likely the Incineroar just trades fake out here, I think. So there's ground on hitting the field and getting that desolate lined up. Okay, fake out. And U turn. Okay, that's fine. It does break the sash on our save line, which isn't great. But it's not the worst thing in the world. And uh, like I say, we do have that taunt. We can launch into that zone. It's the next turn to shut down. And Izzy Valtor coming in as well. Um, we do have Quash. We could take advantage of. I think it's probably more important to get the taunt onto the Xerneas though. Over everything else. Um, I think I'm going to fire punch the Valtor. And just go for the taunt onto Xerneas. What they could do is try and get rid of the save line now and not go for the geomancy just use this time to uh yeah take it down now switch the xerneas out and then get set up later on in the game it is taking the the save line down Let's see what this evalto goes for let's foul play into ground on okay oh we're taking some heavy damage here aren't we okay we get some nice damage there um now we can bring in Coco. Should be able to get rid of the Veltal. And maybe we switch Groudon out to Kyogre then. I think that might be a better idea. Um Although we could just press with blades. Yeah, we could just press with blades. And I think we'll catch. And then go for a vault switch into the Veltal. Because I think maybe Incineroar comes in. Maybe on the Veltal slot. But maybe we see the Xerneas switch out for, for Incineroar and then the Veltal goes down. Okay, we're not going to see that. Um, Incineroar going to come in. But a Volt switch and then a Precipice Blade should be enough to get the Incineroar. I'm hoping we don't see a Moonblast into the Groudon here. Because if it's a Dazzle then we should take it pretty comfortably with Groudon. Like, not comfortably, but from the range that we've got left. Um, so we're Kyogre onto the field. That helps us put a little bit more pressure onto the, the Incineroar the next turn. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see what we can do from here. I mean, if we can get the Precipice Blades off, that's quite huge for us, I think, going into this next turn. Just depends what this Xenius decides to do. Even a Moonblast might be too hard pushed to get the Ground on from here. I don't know. Oh, it's actually into the Coco. Wow. They're going to give us a free Precipice Blades. Special attack does drop, it's not ideal. We do hit the blades. Minus one, of course. Um, gonna be enough to get the Incineroar and do some decent damage to that Xerneas. We've gotta keep an eye on the Xerneas as well for when this taunt wears off because um, ah, the special attack drop though on our, um, on our Kyogre is not ideal. Hmm. We just don't want to allow, I think the taunt will wear off the next turn, you know, and I don't really want to allow Okay, 
Um, I think that's a Soul Festi Veltal as well. That's the thing. Do I just let Groudon go down or do I bring in Coco? Because Coco could take a Moonblast. I could just bring in Coco and protect Kyogre. Because I think he probably Dazzle. I think Coco actually takes, will take an attack from, from, I don't think, we're, I like, if we see Dazzle an attack, I think Coco takes whatever my opponent throws out at us here, I'm hoping, hoping it's not a Moonblast in like, okay, ah, oh, and a Snarl, yeah, and that's going to be us going down, I think now, which is not great, yeah, I think that we just lose now. Oh, we needed to just leave Groudon in and just let it go down. Uh, the taunt wears off now, which is not great because the Geomancy is going to come out and I think that's going to be game for us, to be honest. Oh, what a miserable way for us to send this team off. And it's so not reflective of how the team's done this week. Uh, it's really frustrating, actually. Because um, a foul play, I'll take Groudon down. Um, yeah, there's not really anything we can do. We can try for a Scald onto Xerneas. I guess that could be an option. We can Fire Punch and Scald. And then if they don't take Groudon down, then we get the Fire Punch off. Oh, we're not even going to see the Geomancy. So you probably don't feel like they need to go for that now, I think. Yeah. Another Special Attack drop. Every time. And then the Foul Play. And then that is going to be game for us. Oh, they're going into the Kyogre. Okay, maybe thinking that it will protect the Groudon, but I mean now it doesn't really matter because the Veltal just takes down uh, Groudon whenever it wants with the foul play. We'll at least see my opponent's last Pokemon. Ah, this, this is disappointing. This is disappointing end for the dual Primos team today. But I guess sometimes you can't always have it how we want. And um, I think the Veltal's always going to be a difficult matchup for dual Primos. And maybe we've had it a lot easier than we would have done because we've not really faced many Eveltals throughout uh, the last two weeks. Um, maybe that'll change. Maybe that'll change. So that's something else to look at, I think, with the team for sure. Is like having better ways to deal with Evelt and, and like not specifically with Tapako because Tapako directly deals with it. Great. It's board positioning. When Eveltal's out on the field, can we get Coco in safely and pressure what's next to it? Like, save the Xerneas and set ourselves up parameters so we can always have a way in to get and deal with that Eveltal, which the minute I don't feel like the team really does that well. Um, something I will definitely take away when we come back with a new team and, and work with this in the background and maybe bring to a stream or a uh, showdown episodes later on when I've made some adjustments and once I do and I feel like I've got it to a point where it feels like it can manage with those those threats a little bit better like Eveltal I'll bring it back and we'll, we'll share it with you guys and uh, if you've got any suggestions of the same uh, obviously let me know. Nihiligo could be a great Pokemon just off the top of my head. Anyway we're gonna end things there we've had a really good week two weeks with this dual primus team thank you so much for tuning in a bit sad and sorry that we haven't had the results today but we'll be back on monday with a brand new team um, and we'll start pushing on a little bit further with that and uh, we'll uh, not get too bogged down with um, with the results today have a great weekend whatever you're up to if you're at events good luck and i will see you all on monday for another episode of our battle spot series so until then take care and bye bye